sounded like fabulous. I figured we'd vlog. We would vlog this. Um, I'm gonna be working on set tomorrow. I haven't done makeup um, for money, um, professionally, whatever, however you'd like to call it, um, since December. November? It's been a long time. It's hard to balance it when it's not your full-time gig. So right now I'm preparing. Um, I set up my little box and um, I'm cleaning brushes. I have sets of brushes that I usually just use or have set aside for, you know, when I'm working. Then I have my own personal, sometimes I'll take my personal uh, with me, but sometimes I have to work the night before and I'm gonna use my brushes and I don't have time to wash them before I bring them. So here is my pile. These are the babies that are going to be washed. I already have a set of clean ones that have not been touched, but I spritz them over with Beauty So Clean so because they've been sitting. So you know you don't wanna take out something that's clean, but hasn't been used and has dust bunnies all over it. So I got my little setup here. I got my soap and my water and my thingies, and then I got my little brush holders. You know, that's, that's what I'm doing. So that's kind of how the day is going. Um, I have to go to work tonight and so right now I'm just doing the clean bit so that way tomorrow why are there flies in my house so that way tomorrow is nice and easy I just get some sleep throw on my own personal makeup so I don't look scary and then my kit is ready to go I've gone through and made sure that everything is updated the only thing that I need to grab is some backup disposable wands for mascara and lippies. I have clean sponges already. Um, I need some extra paper towels. I already have my alcohol to disinfect. I even recleaned my jar. This is the jar that I put my dirty brushes in as I'm working, so that way I don't use these kind of thing. Uh, but it, you know, it looked a little funky from sitting around so I made sure I washed it because part of this job when you do it is letting your clients know that you're not going to get them sick or contaminate them with ickiness. You can be an amazing makeup artist and be disgusting, right? And you can be a not great makeup artist and be really clean and guess what? People are going to cleanliness over anything when you watch those people lately it's been a thing on YouTube to go to like the worst rated makeup artist and usually it's not the makeup that bugs people more so than the cleanliness of the provider so when you're doing um, a lot of the makeup that I do it's really just bringing out the best in what people already are um, you're not gonna be doing a lot of uh, cut creases smoky eyes you really just want to bring out the best complexion that they have while looking natural for HD, 4K, that kind of thing. So I'm just making sure my brushes are clean and I'm all ready to go. And um, even wiping down these with alcohol so that way you don't have a clean brush but the other end is covered in fingerprints. Because that's the things that people see when you're doing their makeup, you know? So yeah, that's that's kind of the deal. I'll bring you guys along today and tomorrow and show you a little bit. I mean, like I'm not gonna be filming people like crazy, but just, you know, a portion of the life because I don't do this full time. So it's not like, you know, I have to kind of revamp myself back into it because I don't do it all the time. It's not my full time gig. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching this vlog of me doing, doing the makeup. And they are clean. I had to break out the aloe vera gel because some of these Morphe brushes are so bad that um, the only way to reshape them, soften them a little bit, give them a little conditioning treatment, is with that aloe vera gel. So just a couple little favorite things for cleaning. This one right here is my Davina Concierge. It's like a little silicone scrublet and I love this for eye brushes. I have a little mini one that I got on, I don't know, AliExpress. Um, those are two of my favorite things. 
And then I also have this one. I think this is the elf mat. It was like $10. It's suctions. So I'm letting it just sit here for a little bit until I can wash this. Because now this needs to be washed. So yes, we are ready. We are ready. We are ready. So we are driving and we're stuck in traffic. And I stepped in dog poo. And I'm doing the makeup in a parking lot. So, you know, sometimes that's just how things roll. Like, we have the studio space from 12 to 4 and it's expensive. So they need to utilize that time for shooting. So I was told I gotta set up in the parking lot. And I, I brought a table and a chair, which, you know, you gotta roll with it. And then I was told I have a half hour to do a full face. Sometimes it's just how it goes. So um, if there's time, I'll at least show you the setup and I'll show you, um, you know, the space. But uh, there won't be a lot of filming doing the makeup because I'm on a time limit. So, all right guys, we're in route. Here's a little bit of footage from the actors. We were working on a green screen and um, also got the female full face, just a quick pick afterward. I wanted to make sure that she looked very much like herself, just heightened and some more little photos of them on set. And then I have a picture of my setup afterwards. Like this was, I brought everything back in and at this point you're just really working with making sure everybody's face stays good under those hot lights with powders and whatnot. And I wanted to show you guys like a couple palettes that I always bring with me when I'm working on set. One of them is the Saucebox Etude palette. It is a neutral palette, but the two light shades are great for under the eyes for people with light complexions or for brightening. You can also use them on the face for contouring as well as shadows. I like to bring lip palettes with me on set as well. It's the only time that they get any use. And my Viseart palettes because they can be used in the brows, contouring, that kind of thing. I knew this wasn't going to be anything crazy, no smoky eyes, nothing like that. And then I even thought, hey, I'll use this Tardis palette for a little bit of highlight because I didn't want to bring a million things with me. The day is over and I am quite tired. Uh, the studio, sorry, the studio space that we were filming in was, um, it was, it was hot. So you can't have like a lot of air or fans. It's just like how I should film on YouTube, nice and quiet, but you know, I don't do that around here. Um, so it was hot, not, not to the point of like, I'm going to die, but just uncomfortable and um, my glasses and sinuses together created a monster of a headache on the way home. But I took my glasses off and a Sudafed and I feel much better. Overall, it was, it was a fun day. It's always a good time when you're doing things that you enjoy versus, you know, your regular everyday job. And it's like they say, you know, when you're doing something that you love, it's it's not like going to work and it's always a plus when you get paid to do it so that was the day um, if you guys want to see some of the things that I like always bring with me on set that don't fail we can do that we could do that um, but yeah I'm sorry I didn't get to go into as much detail as I would have liked but we were on some time limits and we were doing makeup in a parking lot so I couldn't really um, I needed to hurry I need to hurry you do what the client wants and that was the priority so I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and um, yeah we'll see you guys in the next one bye Don't forget you can subscribe down here and for more videos click over here possibly there there's places to click click them click them all